Okay. Now, can you just tell us, like, what are the different types of opportunities when we say IT? Mm -hmm. Like, what are the different types of opportunities that is available in IT itself? Okay. Or so computers? Yeah. Um, so when when I started my career, right? So when somebody, when people used to ask me what uh, what what do you do? I used to say I work for IT firm. And back then, the notion was most of the people used to think, okay, IT maybe is a software engineer. Yes. Right. This is the perception. Yeah, but it is when when we talk about IT, it is just not a software engineer, right? You know, uh, you can write programs. You know, you can develop applications. Uh, you can be a program manager. You can be uh, HR manager, or you know, you can be. A project manager. Even you can HR get manager. Yes. This is the first time I'm here. No, so people. like any or oh. organization, you know, where people need to have somebody from the human resource management okay. to handle certain policies and etc. Okay. So you have these opportunities even in the IT industry. So when somebody says IT, please do not stick only to the software engineer mm -hmm. role. You have different roles available within the IT. You know, just like I've mentioned. Even finance is part of IT, okay. right? And sales consultants, yes. marketing, uh, analytics, okay. uh, security. Yes. So we have different subjects and categories that one can choose within IT field. Okay. But it depends on your passion. Okay, well, that is true. Yes. And I just want to know how about the opportunities now in the global market, I would say. The, the, uh, for the IT people, IT career is concerned, whether it is BCA or it is MCA. Okay, this is one perspective companies do look at. Mm -hmm. The other perspective is they are looking for the engineers, mm -hmm. that is BEs. Okay. okay, so and they are not much relating these two together because they are kept for different job profile and uh, application people are kept for different job profile. Okay. So I just want to know from you, like, how about you balance it? Is a balanced way that we get the opportunities? Easy, easy example that I can quote is, you know, when a, uh, if a chemistry student is sitting in front of you and That's you know working for nice. an IT company, <laughs> I'm sure you know a BE in this generation, you know, who gets to work in computers can definitely get a job in the IT firm. Okay. Right. So please do not uh, stick yourself to say, okay, I'm from BE, I might not have any opportunities in IT world. Okay. No, it is all interrelated. You know, you can work on networking, you can work on uh, human that resource management, they can work on the core side of IT. So they're all linked together. Okay. So you have equal opportunities in hardware networking also yes. as much as in software. Yeah, definitely. You know, when I'm building a, when I'm making a construction, it is just not the cement that I need, okay. right? I need the steel, you know, I need those bricks. Correct. So even in uh, the IT industry, when somebody develops a new application, it is just not the application alone, okay. right? They need the networking team, you know, who can build the network between the application and the servers, okay. right? They need some databases, you know, where the application data can reside on. But to protect their application, they might also need some security. Okay. So, uh, security all these, also comes so all these things, uh, they, they, they get combined, they get integrated, and they form an organization. Well, that's nice. Like, uh, uh, but how do you rate like no, from the, because our viewers are mostly youngsters now, mostly mm -hmm. like high secondary students who are waiting for their results mm -hmm. basically in this program, the viewers are like that. Okay. So I would like to know like because their career will start say from four years from now mm -hmm. because they have to complete their graduation, yes. if at all they are B's or BCA's or whatever. Mm -hmm. So four to five years down the line, how according to you I can ask you, mm -hmm. like how do you rate the opportunities? So, uh, basically around five years, I would say. Okay, so, so this is what I would suggest even to my team members right now. Uh, do not look at, you know, that specific day that you're meeting your needs. Okay. But you look at how the market is changing and how the market is trending, how the future is going to be in the next five or ten years, right? Okay. So when, when we have started this IT, you know, we have this big computers, and tabulating machines, you know, which people used to work on. But yes. now if you look at us, you know, we, we do everything on our fingertips, yes. at our fingertips, sorry, right? So we, similarly, uh, you know, if you look at the, the current trend, it is more about, you know, data, okay. right? So there is so much of data in the environment where somebody needs to analyze it, 
based on which the decisions are taken, okay. which means we have uh, future trending towards data analytics. Okay. Right? So how about in India, this big analytics is the big data analytics is the upcoming field is what everyone says now. So about in India, as the research started and the work has started because okay. research is going on, what about the actions after the research? See, the companies moved on? I would suggest it has definitely started because okay. if you look at some retail stores like Flipkart, oh, you know, that's a good example. They do their uh, business only through app. Okay. Right? Yes. But when you shop for something on any of the retail, uh, you know, uh, sorry, e shopping, e shopping, they say uh, you have chosen this project, sorry, product, you might also like this. Yes. So those suggestions, yes. those suggestions are given actually based on data analytics. Okay. They say, okay, if you have liked this product, there's a chance for you to like this product as well. Yes. Or, you know, if you have, uh, somebody else had bought this pro uh, product already, but they bought the XYZ products yeah. also. And even sometimes we get for accessories also. If I buy mobile, within two days of time, I'm getting an email saying that uh, these are the accessories, accessories that, that comes along with the mobile. Correct. Okay. So, more on fashion, right? So nowadays, you know, people are just not selling a piece of cloth, yes. but they also want to sell you accessories, you know, that goes with that cloth. Yes, that's true. Right, that material. Yeah. So, so it is available definitely in I India. I think just well. little brief about uh, big data, like from where, you know, day-to-day -day life, where we are mm -hmm. coming across this big data, like from Facebook they get, from uh, emails they get. So if you could tell us, you know, the major areas where the big data starts with. Okay. It, it starts with you. Why, why Why? do I say so? Whenever you install any app on your phone, you know, first you will be asked that, you know, by installing this app, uh, we will be collecting certain information of your personal uh, data, like your phone uh, details or, you know, friends, email address, yes, yes. etc. Et and cetera. also hobbies and Get interests. It. So, it, whenever you install an app, which means you are uh, opening yourself to that particular organization of revealing some part of your information. Yes. So that is how they collect the data. Mm. Even right? now WhatsApp is exactly. the biggest way of collecting data. So look at the Facebook, uh, you know, they, they try to post something on your wall saying that uh, this is what happened uh, five years ago. Would you like to post it on your timeline to remind you so of So even things? five years data they are having it. Definitely. That's what, because uh, when I was a student, I think I, we would have seen only one drive, that is 1.44 uh, MB <laughs> floppy disk. Now we can't, it's like, uh, it's it like commerce, so yeah, for the, 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 now even we have crossed TB, okay. isn't it? At least now ready-made, uh, we are getting as TBs and Zeta bytes and, uh, you know, so many bytes we have crossed beyond Tetra and uh, Terra and Zeta <laughs> bytes going on like, uh, this is the, I think, so research behind the big data analytics from the everyday, that's the video that we upload. Yes, you know, even the uh, real time, uh, for example, if you take Google Maps, right, it is real time data. Google Maps, yes. You know, when you're going from one direction to the other, they mark, uh, if it is uh, heavy flooded with traffic, they mark it in red. If it is light, they mark it in uh, amber or yellow, I guess. Okay. And if it is free, it is just blue. So look at, that is all real estate, right? That is based on the uh, images that the satellite is capturing, you know, trying to give you that real-time analysis. Okay, if you take this route, you would find so much of traffic and it would take so much of time for you to reach your destination. That's true, that's like, right. you know, that's how, I think so, the industry is growing as much as data that we pass, industry is also growing. Oh, and employment opportunities also growing uh, related to this, I Correct. think. Correct, so, so I would suggest do not look at uh, you know, the traditional way of uh, getting into an industry, but see how the market is trending, what is it that it is demanding, what is it it's asking for, and try to acquire skill set in such areas. So when you face an interview, you are able to quote live examples. Right. Okay. Yeah. So can you tell us, like, what's your inspirational thoughts or your views about for our viewers who are watching it to conclude this program? So it's a nice meeting with you. So oh, you can you. just enlighten them with some words okay. so related to any career they choose and also especially in IT, mm -hmm. if they choose as a career, mm -hmm. how about uh, this? Okay. And, uh, they can take it up. Sure, definitely. So guys, uh, what I would suggest is uh, if you
have that interest and passion in you that you wanted to become someone or if you want to make a difference in uh, somebody else's life or to the uh, organization or to your community in a positive way, there are opportunities available in the market. You just need to explore where is it that you wanted to make your footprint and upskill yourself in terms of technology or in terms of personal skills or in terms of your communication skills and go for it. Nobody can stop you. Thank you very much, Hari. We Thank had you. a nice interactive session with you in our program. I think uh, we are really lucky to have here <laughs> for a different perspective that you came to Goa and okay. we could really interact with you and got lots of information because we want to know what is there in the MNC. Mm -hmm. We know the, no, the market about the local companies because mm -hmm. in Goa we have around 200 startup ITs. Wow. Yes. That's so that's number. how IT is growing in Goa also. <laughs> so what we are expecting is like let the students take mm -hmm. up this as a career, mm -hmm. do some venture outside. We are not asking them to actually move out of Goa. Mm -hmm. We are just asking them like you explore outside this uh, state and, build and yes and build our state in a more <laughs> better way. That would also be attracting our MNCs to set up this. I think so Hyderabad would have taken probably 10, 15 years to build this name of uh, Cyber Cyber City, yeah. Cyberabad. And same way, I think our Goa city also should be able to <laughs> get it because we have lots of resources. Okay. God bless resources we have in our state. So which can actually help may not be in a, you know, space might be little less for us because geographically speaking, uh -huh. we are not uh, that much spacious state. Okay. So at least to some extent, if they could be able to explore uh, this thing, would it really help our economy of the country also because these are the things which leads to economy of the state as well as True. the country definitely so that way i think we are really lucky to have you and thank you so much for giving us your time because in your busy schedule no, of no, interview no you have, we have called <laughs> you to give the session over here thank you very much Harry. thank you ma'am it was a pleasure talking to you thank you guys hi viewers you must have really enjoyed and uh, had a real motivational talk from our uh, young person like Hari to really inspire you and surely I think you will be taking up these uh, tips from him like what he was expecting you because your personal development or your personal interest is more towards like passion he said so try to have a passion if you really have something at the back of your mind to choose IT as a career I think there are lots of opportunities behind it when you complete your studies so think twice before choosing your career Thank you. Thank you.